Okay, question two on the exam asked fairly simply to predict the acidity of this alcohol. And this is where um, having some good compounds in our knowledge base that are similar to this would be really useful. So very, very similar to this would be the same alcohol without the fluorines, simply ethanol. And when we discussed resonance, we went over ethanol and had a similar pKa to methanol and water because it's simply an sp3 hybridized oxygen attached to a hydrogen with nothing else interesting in the molecule. And the pKa for reference here is about 15 or 16. So what we're asking ourselves is what's the difference between ethanol, which we're very familiar with, pK is 16, and trifluoroethanol. 2,2,2-trifluoroethanol two, two, means the three fluorines are on the second carbon. So first carbon, second carbon. And since the structural formula was given, piecing together the dot structure should be fairly straightforward. And adding fluorines far away from the acidic proton is what we would call the inductive effect. So inductive effect is what comes into play and adding the more electronegative element should lower the pKa. So when I think about what did we have for inductive effect examples, we had very similar pair of molecules. Acetic acid was pKa 4.74 and then trifluoro acetic acid pKa I believe is about minus 0.3 maybe it was 0.3 I don't remember but about zero so it looks like we decrease the pKa by about five units going from uh, unsubstituted methyl group a few bonds away from the hydrogen to a trifluoro-substituted methyl group a few bonds away from the acidic hydrogen. So if this guy is going to be minus 5 pKa units to the inductive effect, then we'd expect this to be about 5 pKa units lower. And so I would predict pKa equals about 11. And I think when I looked it up, it was about 11 and a half to 12 and a half, depending on what resource and who reports it. So you can see by simply looking at the inductive effect, the other thing that's sort of a double check here is the difference between ethanol and acetic acid is that we infuse some resonance with this guy. And so adding some resonance in here increases the acidity. So we go down about 11 units from the no resonance to the very good resonance. And then, so if we do the same thing here, if we went down about 11 units from something to zero, we'd still be predicting a pKa of 11. So either by comparison to something with resonance or something with induction, we can see that we predict the trifluoroethanol to be in the neighborhood of pK11.